Yeah. Chris Spiker for AB Nice with me, with me, Christopher Thornburg, The Economist. You're from Tehachapi? Tehachapi? I'm from Los Angeles, just down the road. <laughs> from Los Angeles, and you've yes. spoken at the Outlook Conference before. Yeah, I've been here a number of times. Uh, I've always enjoyed coming up. It's been a few years now. Um, now, of course, the last time I was here, uh, I was really kind of in the midst of the downturn. A uh, downturn that, you know, candidly, we saw coming. Uh, in large part because some of the you know instabilities going on in the credit markets. Uh, I think tomorrow, uh, nice to be back, and I think I'm going to bring back nicer news as well. Uh, a lot of good things happening out there. Uh, U.S. economy starting to move forward. California economy starting to move forward. I know it's been tough up here in the Antelope Valley. There's no doubt about it. The area was just hammered so hard by the real estate downturn. So they say, first to suffer, last to recover. Is that it? Yeah, something like that. And I think there's an element of truth to that. Um, but here's the good news. The economy is moving forward. California is moving forward. And of course, thinking about Antelope Valley, you know, you have to appreciate the fact that you're literally sitting at ground zero in terms of population growth over the next 30 or 40 years. Really? Yeah, you know, the long-term forecasts show about, 10, about 15 million more people coming to the state of California in the next 45 years. Of that number, about 7 million, 6 million, are gonna be in basically LA and the Inland Empire. And the other four million are the southern, southern uh, Central Valley, including, of course, Bakersfield uh, up through Fresno. So with that in mind, you know, this area is going to continue to grow. Kern is a powerful economy, huge resource economy, continuing to move forward. Los Angeles is starting to move out of the mess as well. And you add it up, and cl it's clear that the Enel Valley has a very bright future. Um, you know, wow. Yeah, I know. I'll that yeah, for That's a great, uh, <laughs> a great uh, yeah. program, a great message. Yeah. So, so well, what you're getting there, you know, that's the key points. All the data show things moving in the right direction. Sure, it's a slow start, but in a couple of years, this stuff's going to start fading into memory, and ultimately, again, the future's bright. You know, we have this uh, event happening in Kern County this year, first mm -hmm. time ever for the yep. Ant Valley Board of Trade. So it's the, it's the East Kern and the North LA County, right. unique situation. Absolutely, so, absolutely. You know, how do, how do we get, make sure that everybody's talking to each other? Yeah, well, they are kind of, a, you know, when they, when they drew these county borders, they weren't thinking about the development of, of what really is a, a one unified economy. Palmdale, Lancaster, not nearly really part of LA, the right rest of sort of below the mountains are. At the same time, Southern Kern County, again, not part of that resource economy sort of thing. Um, but again, you think about the long-term growth and you realize LA is going to continue to grow north. You think about, you know, Kern and Bakersfield continuing to grow south, and you're going to be in this powerful nexus, this, this position of, of trade between these two areas, and of course, the center of housing for both, and that's going to really make the area flower. And, you know, one of the things to keep in mind, I mean, people are moving here because, candidly, it's a beautiful place. You know, I was driving wow. down the, I, I know, I, drove really? down the, I was coming down the 138 tonight. Yeah. You know, I was coming over from, from um, Palm Springs. Yeah. And I was driving on that high desert with the yucca trees and, you know, the mountains. It's beautiful. The sunset and the sunset, colors. Sunset, exactly. There's some beautiful areas you know, Chris, here. That's why we call it AV Nice, because it's a nice place to live. <laughs> it is. So we yeah. love visitors. Yeah. We love people to come and stay and fall in love with the place. Okay. And, and what we're doing here is, uh, especially with like an Outlook Conference, is attempting to uh, improve the conversation yeah. that we have. Because there's a lot of challenges. Yeah. You know, the area has to think long term. You got to think about infrastructure, you got to think about education, you got to think about housing, think of all the things coming on the pike. And, and that means regional cooperation, it means people working together to make sure that the right things happen uh, to make this area move forward. So I always applaud these kind of efforts because it's a great starting point to focus the community on the issues that are really important um, and hopefully you can push forward the right kind of things that need to be done. Hey, you heard it from Chris Thornburg, economist. And he's speaking tomorrow at the Antelope Valley Board of Trade Outlook Conference. Welcome back. You're AV Nice. Thanks, Chris. Great to be here. That's for you. Thank you, sir. You bet. Thank you.